Hello, I'm uh, Tudor Jovin from uh, uh, Cooper University Healthcare and uh, Cooper Medical School of Rowan University in Camden, New Jersey. I'm also a honorary professor of the uh, Capital uh, University in Beijing. Um, and uh, it is a pleasure uh, to be here with my uh, co-PI, Professor Jun Ming Ji. Uh, from Xuan Wu Hospital and Capital uh, University Hospital uh, from Beijing uh, to uh, present the results of the basilar artery occlusion Chinese endovascular trial, Bao Chu. Uh, this is a prospective multi-center randomized control open label and blinded endpoint trial uh, that included patients with acute ischemic stroke due to basilar artery occlusion who could be randomized between six to 24 hours from symptoms onset or time last known well. Uh, uh, patients were selected based on TC aspects greater than six and PONS midbrain index of less than two. So both of these conditions had to be uh, fulfilled. Uh, the target vessel uh, is the basilar artery or intracranial segments of both vertebral arteries uh, if the, if that had to be uh, occluded. Uh, if the basilar artery was uh, open. Uh, randomization uh, in, uh, deployed a one-to-one -one, uh, uh, scheme to solitaire uh, plus best medical management versus medical management alone. Uh, the trial was planned for 318 maximum subjects with a pre-planned interim analysis at 212 patients, which constitutes two thirds of the planned sample size. Uh, Follow-up was at 24 hours, 90 days, six months, and a year, with a primary outcome being the proportion of patients achieving favorable outcomes, defined as modified ranking score of 0, 3 at 90 days. Uh, this is the consort flow diagram. You can see there were 218 patients randomized, of whom one patient uh, withdrew a consent. Uh, 110 patients were uh, randomized to thrombectomy and 107 patients randomized to best medical therapy. Uh, we had a small number of uh, crossovers. Four uh, patients crossed over from best medical therapy to thrombectomy and one uh, in the uh, opposite direction. Uh, there were uh, some uh, small number of patients lost to follow up and the results uh, that you will see uh, refer to the intent to treat population. Uh, patients demographics, uh, uh, there are no significant differences between the, the two groups. Uh, you note that uh, most of the patients uh, enrolled, 73% uh, approximately in each group, uh, are males. Uh, the, um, median, uh, the mean age was uh, 64 years, me uh, median uh, NIH stroke scale score 20, so these are very severe strokes in keeping with uh, the type of presentation that we typically see in basilar artery occlusion. And uh, about 40% uh, of the patients were randomized uh, in the beyond 12 hour uh, time window uh, with the remaining uh, six, approximately 60% in the six to 12 hour time window. Uh, only a small percentage of patients, 13.6 um, in the thrombectomy arm and 21.5% in the best medical therapy arm uh, received intravenous TPA. Uh, these are the primary uh, results uh, on the, diff the adjusted difference uh, uh, by uh, age, baseline NIH and therapeutic window. Uh, the uh, p-value for the difference uh, in uh, modified ranking scale zero to three at 90 days was highly statistically uh, significant. Uh, the proportions were 46.4% versus 24.3%, over 20% uh, percent, uh, difference. And uh, in terms of safety, uh, you can see that there is a, a trend towards lower mortality uh, in the uh, thrombectomy treated patients. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, 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 a strong trend towards uh, a higher incidence of uh, uh, in symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage uh, in the thrombectomy group. So in conclusion, uh, Pao Chu is the first randomized trial examining the best treatment for uh, acute basilar artery occlusion 
in a six to 24 hour time window, uh, we found that thrombectomy improved favorable outcomes. We find that uh, modified ranking scale zero to three uh, rates at 90 days by 22.1% from 24.3 to 46.4%. Uh, we noted higher rates of symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage in the thrombectomy group. Um, uh, and in conclusion, Bao Chu provided evidence in support of the efficacy of stent retriever thrombectomy in selected patients with acute basilar artery occlusion stroke, treatable within six to 24 hours of symptoms onset or lasting well. Thank you.